Hello friends, in today's video I'm going to talk about the habit of spending time each day with God. And I have a handout, I'm going to be looking at it a little bit, there you see it. I will include a link to this handout so you have some of this stuff in written form. I'm also going to include a link beneath here that can take you to part of a message that I gave at our church that talks about this. See this, this uh, channel is all about how our spiritual life can positively help and uh, bring improvement to our mental health challenges. And the point that I make in this message, and it's sort of the foundation of this, uh, of what I'm going to talk about today, but it's kind of the foundation of, of the, the channel itself, is that if that's going to be the case, if our spiritual life is going to be a support and strengthen our mental health and help us in our mental health challenges, then that needs to be, or we need to be experiencing an authentic and meaningful spiritual life. Um, so it's one thing to have a set of beliefs. It's one thing to adopt, let's say, our, our Christian faith as a way of uh, providing hope for future in the afterlife. But it's another thing to, to fully embrace what it means to be a follower of Christ and have that shape our life. And that's this habit today is, is one of those practices that, that I'm gonna talk about in a, in a series now about practices that strengthen our spiritual life. And this is gonna be part of a, of a spiritual journey, a spiritual quest that I'm gonna be inviting you to participate on. So practice one, kind of the bedrock practice is to spend time each day with God. And once again, this handout will lay this out, but just let me say a couple of things briefly about it in, a, in the video here. First off, uh, I wanna invite you, as you do this, to take some time in the morning, first thing, ideally first thing in the morning, ideally before you look at the news, <clears throat> before you go on social media, um, before we hear from the world about what's going on, we spend time hearing from God. And so we take some time in the morning to read scripture and to pray, to meditate on that scripture and then to pray. And then I'm also gonna invite you to take some time in the evening just before you go to bed. And um, again, I have some specific uh, suggestions of, uh, of what to do at that time. So <clears throat> first off, in the morning, Find a section of scripture. Some of you may already have a, a Bible reading plan, some sort of scripture uh, way of taking in scripture that works for you. If that, that's great. Um, I would suggest a chapter a day. And um, as part of this spiritual quest, I'm including a Bible reading list for you or a Bible reading schedule. And so um, first thing you, you read a portion of scripture, let's say a chapter of scripture. And then <clears throat> the second thing to do is within that section of scripture that you've read, I'm going to guess there's something in there that jumps out at you, something that seems especially meaningful, something that seems especially important. And I believe that the Holy Spirit in us the Holy Spirit draws our awareness to something like that. There's something in us that causes us to realize, look, this is a this is a message that I need to hear today. And again, maybe it's a verse, maybe it's even just a phrase in the scripture, a sentence that um, that you feel like is important. This is important for me to be uh, thinking about keeping in mind today. Okay, so you have that phrase, and then I would suggest with that verse is uh, if you have paper, I encourage you to write it out. Just write it out longhand or write it out on your computer. And then um, restate it in your own words. So if you're writing it out, again, just write it out again, this time in your own words. Um, or if you don't have paper with you, just, just try to you know, think about it and try to think of how you would restate it in your own words. Now, one of the advantages um, one of the benefits, I think, if you're if you're writing it out, is what I also want to invite you to do is you write this verse out, and then find a way of keeping it with you that day. Um, maybe you write it out on a note card, just a post-it that you can put in your pocket, 
and pull it out at various times throughout the day or maybe on your phone in a file on your phone uh, type it in that file um, and the idea is that you think about it now but also at several other times through the day you draw your attention back to this passage this verse and to think of it as this this is my this is my uh, reminder of the day from God Okay, this is my message of the day that I want to be focusing on. <clears throat> so you have the verse or you have the, the section that you've read. Uh, within that section, something jumps out at you and you sort of adopt that as the, the verse you want to focus on that day. And um, you write it down in your own words. And then you think about this, like a series of questions about the verse. You know, what is this? what does this mean? What does this say about God? What does this say about the spiritual life, what does it have to say to me? And um, I love this question. Uh, it, it might seem a little weird to phrase it this way, but uh, think of it this way. If you were to assume, let's say you believe that this is God speaking to you. If you believe that, then what would you do? What would you change in your life as a result of this verse? Um, so a lot of times we say we believe this is God's word. We say we believe this is God's message to us, but then we just sort of, you know, don't really do much with it. But so, okay, we assume it is God's word. So then, um, are we going to make a change to obey it? Um, what would that look like for you? Okay. So that's, that is all in the realm of what I would call meditation on the, on the passage. We sort of mull it over, think about it from a couple different angles, think about what it would mean for us to obey it. There's a, a whole another dimension of meditation that I will get into in a different video, but just for right now, for our purposes here, we, we use, um, this scripture passage as a, as a vehicle to focus our thinking and we meditate on that passage and then we pray. Uh, however, you, again, you might have a particular practice of prayer already. Um, I am including in this thing, this like a series of a couple of sentences to complete as a way of praying. You know, Lord, today I thank you for, and then find some things to offer gratitude for. Lord, I ask forgiveness for if there's something that you need to confess. And then, uh, Lord, today help me with, help other, you know, you might think of a person you're praying for, help them with. And then you fill in the blank or, or complete that sentence. So that's the prayer time that you would make. Some people write that stuff out. Um, others just do it mentally. Once again, this is the kind of thing you could do in your car on your way to work. Um, but uh, at some point in the morning, take a little bit of time to do that. <clears throat> and then you keep that verse with you through the day. Ideally, several times through the day, you pull it out and think again about it. That sort of becomes a a message that helps you or helps focus your thought on God throughout the day. So then you come to the evening and at some point before you go to bed, um, again, either on paper or just mentally, I, uh, to tell you the truth, I do this, uh, when I'm laying in bed. Okay. So the lights are off, drifting off to sleep. So think of these three things, three answer, three questions or complete three sentences. First, um, today I'm grateful for, and then list a couple of things that you're thankful for from that day. Um, and then second, what have you learned today? What did you observe? What did you experience about God, the spiritual life? Um, so what did you learn today? Anything you noticed? And then finally, um, we each have concerns, things that we're working on, um, and maybe some things that we're worried about. And the idea at night is, you know, we've got to go to sleep here. There's nothing we can do about it anyway. So how about we, you know, sort of put this thing to rest. We, we give it to someone else. So, sort of like um, these people that have a multinational company and uh, let's say computer programmers. So you programmers here in this, um, in the U.S., when they finish their work day, they hand the work over to a group of people in India to keep working on it. And then, you know, then they pass it over to people in Europe when they're done. And then, then it comes back to the Americans. Anyway, <clears throat> so um, whatever you're working on, whatever you're messing with, struggling with, anxious about, um, you turn that over to God. 
Say, God, this is what I'm just turning over to your care as I go to sleep here. Um, people who deal with anxiety find that that can be really helpful just as a way of um, like mentally and specifically turning something over to God's care. So again, at night, either you're writing this out before you get into bed or as you're going to sleep, you think of what am I thankful for? What did I learn today? And then what do I need to turn over to God's care for God to take care of while I'm sleeping? <clears throat> so you engage in those habits. That's, um, I think, a really helpful way of allowing you to take time each day to strengthen your spiritual connection and, uh, and to live out your faith as a Christian.